1836, in Massachusetts, in rocks of Jurassic age, the Reverend Edward Hitchcock finds footprints of gigantic animals with toes arranged like this, three going forward and the little one going inside and back. And he concluded these were a race of ground birds that ruled the world in the Mesozoic era. And he found imprints of the hand on occasion. And on the hand were claws. They weren't a normal bird wing, but they were claws. In 1836, then, Hitchcock defined what we call dinosaurs as a subclass of giant ground birds. And now we know he was right. Fast forward to the 1960s. We had raptor skeletons like Velociraptor. They had the long bird-like hind leg that the Reverend Hitchcock had discovered from tracks. And these raptors had a swivel joint in the wrist right here like birds have today, and raptors had one, two, three fingers, thumb the shortest, just like birds, and in the skull, these raptor dinosaurs had a huge brain which looked very much like a bird brain. We had bones to fit the footprints, and they all fit birds, but did they have feathers? 1990s, our Chinese colleagues found a fabulous Cretaceous lake bed in which there were skeletons, complete ones, of raptor-like dinosaurs. And covering the body, covering the body wasn't a, a pattern of scales, but a pattern of insulation, a dense covering of downy-like feathers. These were bird-like dinosaurs. But it gets better. On the arms of some of the specimens, specimens that looked like raptors, with a clear imprint of long, complex, interlocking flight feathers. We had proof that these meat eaters not only carried feathers over their body, but could use their arms as wings. And now we know, beyond the shadow of a doubt, that all living birds are direct descendants of small, raptor-like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are not extinct. They're flying above your head. <laughs>